The company predicts a yearly profit of £120,000 in the year 2013. The company predicts that the yearly profit will rise each year by 5%. The predicted yearly profit forms a geometric sequence with common ratio 1.05. Show that the predicted profit in the year 2016 is 138915. Find the first year in which the yearly predicted profit exceeds £200,000. Find the total predicted profit for the years 2013 to 2023 inclusive, giving your answer to the nearest pound. OK, I've got the problem here then. Let's have a look at it. So the profit in 2013 was £120,000. So that's the first term in the sequence. And that was in 2013. It's forming a GP with a common ratio of 1.05. So the next year, the profit would be uh, 120,000 times 1.05. And that corresponds to 2014. And then the next year after that, 120 times the 1.05 squared this time. And that's 2015, isn't it? And the sequence continues in that same fashion. So there it is there. So 2016... So the profit in 2016 is expected to be, well this was 2015 so it's just simply the next term along isn't it? So instead of squared it would be cubed. So let's tap that in then. So 120000 times 1.05 power 3. 138915. is what we needed to show. Okay, good. Part B. Find the first year when the profit exceeds £200,000. B. Let's try some values then. Let's try. Um, when will the year be? So let's just, these terms, a typical term would be 120,000AR to the power n, say. And when would that equal £200,000? What value of n would that give? So let's work out the value of n then. There's four zeros both sides, so we can scratch them. And then we've got a four common to both of these, haven't we? So four goes into 25 times, four goes into 12, three times. So that tells us then that 1.05 to the power n is equal to, move the 3 from times down to divide, 5 thirds. And that tells us that, now take logs, so we'll write this in log form, so the 1.05 can be the base, just swing it down underneath, as the base number, the n drops down to ground level, and it will be the log of 5 thirds, so that's the equivalent log form. And let's tap that in the calculator then, so we've got log, 1.05, of the number five thirds equals ten point four six nine so ten point four six and so on so first year uh, this was when it would equal two hundred thousand at that value so n equals eleven will correspond to the first year And that would be, n is 11 would be the 12th term. Okay, n is 11. Then let's go back to our sequence. The zero term, when n was 0, it was 2013. n was 1, it was 14. n is 2, it's 15. So you're adding 13 each time, aren't you, to get to the year. So let's add 13 to n 11. So giving, add 13 to 11, you get 24. So it's 2024. So that's the answer there. Now we're asked to find, uh, that was the n is 11, so the that would be the term, n is 11. So, okay, 
So now we need the profit from 2013 to 2023. Here, there's 11 terms. From that term to that term is 11 terms in the sequence. So, S11 we need to work out, don't we? 11 terms in the sequence. This N is 11 would be the 12th term, wouldn't it? Because this AR to the one less power. So we're working a separate problem now. We're working for S11 because there were 13 years and terms. 13 terms between 2013 to 2023 if you counted them. So that's A R to the N minus 1 over R minus 1. The A is 120,000. R to the 11 is 1.05 to the 11 minus 1 over 1.05 minus 1 is 0 0.05. So that's what we've got. Tap that in the calculator then. 120000 times by bracket 1.05 to the power 11 down to ground level minus 1 close bracket divided by 0 0.05 wasn't it? Equals 1704814 to the nearest pound. 1701814. Let's just double check I've written that down correctly. 1704814. And it was that to the nearest pound, wasn't it? To nearest There we go.